New effort to bring self single payer health care to California faces its next challenge Monday. The assembly is set to hold a floor vote. And while there are many steps ahead, our political reporter Greg Lee tells us new at 630 that this is a major step in a contentious battle. The stakes keep rising on the latest attempt to bring single payer health care to California. Monday, lawmakers in the state assembly are set to vote on AB 1400, the framework for a government funded universal health care system. So we're trying to save money in our system, make it more efficient and, ac and accessible truly to everyone. San Jose Assembly Member Ash Kalra is the bill's author. Under the proposal, private insurance plans would effectively be replaced by a state-run plan called CalCare. A number of labor groups, including the California Nurses Association, back the plan, but there's plenty of opposition. There needs to be significant improvements uh, to be made when it comes to health care in California, and I don't think anyone questions that. I think what people are concerned about is that this proposal is the wrong answer. Assembly Republicans started a petition opposing the plan, chief among their concerns how to pay for the bill. A committee analysis estimates the cost would be between 314 and 391 billion dollars a year. AB 1400 is tied to a funding proposal, ACA 11, tax hikes on businesses and high earners, which needs to be approved by the Assembly, Senate and voters. The entire state budget proposal by the governor uh, that he announced is around $286 billion. So this proposal would cost more than the entire budget of California. Even the taxation mechanism, which some estimate will be $160 billion or more, is less than what we're paying now. And they don't talk about that. The committee estimates the total cost of health care in the state this year will be around $517 billion, $222 billion of employer and household spending, $295 billion paid by local, state, and federal taxes. The California Medical Association, California Hospital Association, and more than 100 other medical and business groups oppose the plan. As for Governor Newsom, here's how he responded earlier this month. With respect, uh, I think there's a approach that's a better approach, and it was an approach we were taking that was embraced by many of the same legislators that for some reason has changed a little bit uh, as this bill comes out of nowhere. I hope that we can move this forward and eventually bring single-payer health care um, to our residents, to all of you. Adding to the stakes here, the Progressive Caucus of the state's Democratic Party tweeting and threatening to take away their endorsement votes for any lawmaker who does not approve of the plan. In the newsroom, Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.